Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Digitivity. I am making today's tutorial on a request which I had around 12 to 13 days before in comments on one of my videos. So today, I am going to show you how to fix dark photos or low light photos using GIMP, which is a GNU image manipulation software. And most important thing is, it is completely free to use open source software. Consider subscribing to my channel if you like the tutorial and hit the bell icon to stay updated about upcoming tutorials. So without wasting time, let's get started. To start our project, open GIMP first and open the image you want to fix once you are inside GIMP. To do that, I am going to the File option in the top menu then click on Open. Then choose the image and hit Open. If you want to follow along with the same image, you can download it from the link I have given in the description below. Now duplicate the layer for backup which we can have if we did any mistake. Now let's go to the Layers panel, and rename the duplicated layer by double-clicking on its name to Original. And now we can start fixing our image. First, we need to adjust the color levels. And to do that let's go to colors from the top menu and click on levels. It will open up a window. Now we are going to adjust the levels of the image which will improve the contrast levels of our image. To do that, grab this small triangle cursor and drag it slowly to the left. It will adjust the mid-tone of our image. Now let's grab this cursor and drag it to the left side to adjust the white tone of our image. Remember these all adjustments I am doing will always be different for different images, so we need to keep adjusting until we found satisfactory results. Now I am going to change the value to red and adjust the levels again. And I am going to do the same with green and blue values. You can always come back to any value and change it again until you find satisfactory results. Now let me preview this image by unchecking this box. This is before and this is after. You can see the image has become clearer and the objects which are far from the camera are still visible. Now hit OK and I am going to Colors from the top menu and go to Exposure. It will open up a window. Here we have to adjust the black level and exposure. First we will be adjusting exposure here. Remember this exposure and black level adjustments can be different for various images too. So try and play around to find perfect effect with every image. And you can always preview it by turning off this checkbox or turning on this split preview option. You can also hold the guide and move it back and forth to see the changes that happen to the image. Now I think I am happy with these adjustments to my image and I'll hit OK. And we are going to change the color temperature of our image now. To do that, Go to Colors from the top menu again and click on the color temperature it will open up a window. Here we want to adjust this original temperature and intended temperature suitable to our image. This looks better to me and I'll hit OK now. We are going to do one last setting to our image. And I am going to Colors again and click on Curves. It will open up a window. I am making a point to adjust color curve by clicking on this slanting line like this, and drag it a little bit towards upside.
Then I'll make another point here, and drag it a little bit to the downside. It will make a curve like S and I'm gonna hit OK once I found satisfactory results. This image is looking pretty exposed now. So this was our original image and this is the final image after our work. Now go to file option and click on export as to export the image. Here you can rename the image. And you can also change the file extension by clicking here. Almost all popular file extension types are available here. For me I mostly use JPEG and PNG. This time JPEG is okay. Now I'll click on export and one more window will pop up. Here you can adjust the quality of the image as per your purpose and finally click export. This was it for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful in any way whatsoever, be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications to my channel. And if you have any questions about this video, please let me know in the comment section below. See you in the next tutorial, take care.